Yeah, what's good everybody? It's your boy Apa King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K24 video. In today's video, we're going to be going over Victor Wembanyama's 84 rating. Yes, I, I did not stutter. A 84 rating. That means he is the highest rated rookie ever, ever in an NBA 2K video game. I mean, the highest. Now, what does that mean? That means that, hey... He's 84 overall. What does it matter to us? I want to talk to all you my career players out there. I want to talk to all you park players out there. I want to get the consensus of all you rec and pro-am players out there. Is it disrespectful to see one of the, you know, most potential players ever to play the game at 84 overall while you're my player is still a 60 overall out the box to you? Let's talk about that today. Yo, by the way, shout out to everybody that's been watching the new vlog channel, man. Link in the description. So let's talk about it, man. Um, I'm not sure if you guys seen, but they did a whole promo rollout of Victor on a set doing some type of shoot with Ronnie 2K. That's over on the side panel, um, as well as they let us know that he's an 84 overall. But the real discussion comes in that when we create our my players, why is our my player still at a 60 overall when we have players coming in every year raising the bar? In real life, why can't the bar be raised for our virtual counterparts? Now, me specifically, I believe that we should come in at around 70 to 72 overall for our my players. Now, I know you probably are thinking, man, what's 60 overall versus 70 overall? Ain't really too much difference. It's the precedence. Like if you say to everybody out there, Hey, start at a 60 overall, spend this much VC just to get to a 75 overall, or heck, let's even give it Victor's rating to get to an 84 overall. Do you know how much VC that costs to get from a 60 overall to an 84 overall? That's a 24 like rating bump. You know, how much, like that's probably, I think what, like 130,000 VC. That's insane. And that's just 2K23. We don't even know what 20 2k24 will hold as far as you know how much it will cost to get from 60 to 84 so what i'm saying to y'all is we sh we should fight for this we should fight hey even if it's not in 2k24 let's talk about 2k25 yo give us a bump you know what i'm saying even if it's the lowest rated uh rookie in the draft of like the you know top 10 or top 25 like give us one of their ratings to start with you know what i'm saying like yo Hey, these lottery guys, man, they, they got some nice numbers. Go ahead and give us some lottery numbers. You already know that most of us who play my career the most, you know for a fact that, yo, we coming in with A pluses. We getting triple doubles. We killing the draft combines. You know what I'm saying? We know that you partner with the NBA with the summer league. We going to kill the summer league. So y'all should give us ratings off of that. Like, for instance, if you start your my career story, right, you create your build, everything like that, and you know what your build would look like at 99 overall. Once you start the story, you shouldn't be able to up your attributes immediately. What it should do is it should give you like that 85 to 90 type of vibe of your build. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you might be able to change like just the animations a little bit but for the most part your build is on a sliding scale which means when you go into the story mode of like whether you're in high school college you know or you know the draft or whatever wherever they start you at in the story you come in with a sliding scale where there's a possibility of you starting at victor Wimbayama's overall right as an 84 and you could possibly get bonuses and, and and buffs throughout the game for doing good things like not fouling, not turning the ball over, getting assists, scoring, and, and making good passes to where when your grade goes up, your attributes boost because that's already in my career. My my ball handle, it was a 75 on my 6'9 build. If I'm in the third quarter of a my career game, sometimes it would tell me that my ball handle was at an 89. That's because it's buffing me and giving me boost throughout. So if you play good, right, throughout the whole entire draft, right, why not give us the highest overall rating when you come out the draft? 
it not only would it make people want to play my career to start the game off and focus on that instead of just making their build and head to the park day one they'll be like shoot i could save vc just just by playing the game and playing it the right way and getting through it yo i'm on that that'll 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 be dope because everybody's build will start off differently from the way that you perform not just by the money factor you feel what i'm saying like that'd be that'd be so dope whereas though you can really have a sliding scale in the beginning parts of the game and you like say for instance you come out the draft and when you come out the draft you had an 82 overall you like dang i save so much vc not having to start at a 60 and i really got a good potential of what my build could do you know like you know how many people love the builder and would love to actually try out their builds instead of playing that little 5v5 or 3v3 option after you create it just imagine being able to play a little bit of the story and saying no oh, this build about to be the one because you playing on that sliding scale you really getting to see what it's like at its highest tiers that'd be dope bro that, that, that but that's just me though maybe i'm i'm talking out of turn maybe you know a lot of people not feeling it but listen let me be honest with y'all i put out a tweet right that said Victor Wamayama receives an insane 84 overall as a rookie in the NBA 2K24. My career players shouldn't start at 60 overalls anymore. And this tweet is going absolutely crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? People saying facts. If he's an 84, then my career players better uh, at least start off at a 70. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, you think they're going to miss out on the VC bread. Like, so many people are responding to this, but this starts the conversation. Like, I know for a fact that somebody at 2K probably saw this tweet. And this starts the conversation. That's what all of these videos are about. It's about actually starting the conversation between us so that the devs can see how we feel about certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the the best thing. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's what I take pride in, bro. Starting conversations to see what people think, bro. Because... I don't want my voice to be the only voice, bro, ever, bro. I never want that. I never want my voice to be the only voice. I want us to all talk about it and see what we think about it. You feel what I'm saying? With Victor being an 84 overall, it should definitely change the scope of things starting out with a My Career player. Because even when you start in my team with certain cards, none of those cards are starting out at 60 overall. You don't have to build those cards up that much. Okay, I think the lowest that I've ever seen a uh, my team car was maybe a 71 to 73. Maybe I think that's the lowest I've ever seen it. I've never seen anything in the 60s. I think we should completely do away with the 60s, completely do away with it because not only is there no modes for it, right? For any of those 60 overalls, boot camp is designed for new players with new builds to play the game and they max them at 75. So if 84 is not a good starting point. 75 should be a great baseline because 75 will tell you, okay, in order to get to a 75 overall, what attributes can I put up to get to that 75? You know what I'm saying? Instead of a 60, a 60 is terrible. Uh, with a 60, you can't, that build is not serviceable. No matter what build you make, it is not serviceable. Okay, it, it is not, all right? But again, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, sub up. Uh, somebody told me, try to get to a million subscribers. Hey, if you guys hit that sub button, we can do it. So I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.